I'm here with Wesley receiver Bryce Shade as we get ready for this week's game against Hobart. And Bright, an opportunity to have a bit of a breakout game against MIT. Certainly you've had a good season, but it must be nice to find the end zone a couple of times. Yeah, I mean, it felt good. I mean, it's uh, nice to know, like, your teammates are there blocking for you, running hard, making plays, and they uh, stay behind you the whole game. You were able to find some space, and it seems like offensive coordinator Chip Knapp is trying to find a way to get you some space I mean, what's it like working under him and you know, some of the ideas that he brings to the table to try to showcase your talents? Uh, I never had an offensive coordinator like him, man. He's just amazing. Like, the plays that he puts in the playbook are just so genius, I guess you can say. So it's just like he finds a way for everybody to find space on the offense and everybody get the ball to make plays. You're not the biggest guy I've ever met in my life, but – I look at some of the big plays that Steve Caduso has made this year, and oftentimes there's number 85 out in front throwing a block on somebody that's maybe an inch or two taller than him. How much pride do you take in that part of your game? Oh, man, when uh, when you throw a block and somebody scores, it just feels just as good as scoring. Like I feel like dancing in the end zone. Like They might walk back to the, end, uh, back to the sideline, but I'm still in the end zone dancing for them. <laughs> The combination of Caduso and Shade. I mean, what do you guys bring to the table, and how do you guys? How do you feel you complement him, and how do you feel he compliments you? Oh man, it's uh, it's that's the guy who uh, taught me everything so far, man. Like he keeps telling me work hard at practice. We go, we talk to each other. I mean, like he goes, if I have a big game, you gotta have a big game, and uh, every every day he says that. It's just like, all right, let's work hard and let's get that done. When did you start playing football, and why? I uh, started playing when I was four. But they wouldn't let me play tackle football because I was too young and my older brother was playing tackle football. So I would go out there and flag and just try to tackle everybody or run somebody over. And ever since then, I just loved it. Hey, what about the sport attracted you to play? I mean, I'm, were you pushed in it for, or was it, did you see your your older siblings playing? It was like, I've got to play this too? Uh, as I was little, I always liked to play with like footballs and whatnot. It was my dad used to just throw them to me. I would try to catch them, and it just, the sport just came to me. How did you end up as a wide receiver, not a defensive player, not a quarterback? Is there something about that position that attracted you to it? Uh, I actually started as a quarterback, and I was uh, I was all right at that, but it was time was too short, couldn't see over the line, so it was just like, all right, let's try somewhere else. In high school, they put me at a slot receiver, and it just took off from there. Now, you catch the football, you run the football a little bit. Which do you prefer and why? Uh, I like the both. I just like the ball in my hands. I just like to make a play. We look ahead now to this week's game against Hobart. The Statesmen bring a fantastic defense here to Dover. What are the challenges that they bring that you guys are going to have to overcome today? Uh, their challenge they bring is the blitz, man. They bring the blitz well, and they can do it. They know they can do it well. So uh, for our receivers, it's going to be blocking for the run, stopping that blitz, and it's going to be uh, getting off the press to get open. When you see a team with that many tackles for loss, they've got a couple of guys that are over 15 on the season. I mean, does it kind of speed up the offense a little bit on each play that, you know, there, there might be a little bit of urgency knowing that, you know, maybe time will be limited a little more than we've seen in previous weeks? Yeah, I mean, we know we know that uh, it's going to be a shorter snap count. I mean, not so much like four seconds, maybe three. But I don't think it's going to change our offense too much. I mean, our offense is already a fast tempo and keep going. So that's not really worrying what does it mean to this football team to be playing for a region championship? And this has kind of been the line the last couple of years that this program hasn't been able to cross. How nice would it be to, to finally get back to another Final Four? Yeah, I mean, last year, I mean, we weren't against Mountain Union. We lost by three. I mean, it felt felt bad, but it's like we know next year we could uh, definitely make it there. And um, this year, just we're not, we're not going to like let this out and just be the last time on the field this year. So we're just going to go hard and get to this Final Four. You know, trying to get a, a sense for what this game is like, I I feel like you've got to go back to the team that they beat in the previous round in Johns Hopkins in the game down in Baltimore last year. What can you guys take from maybe that experience that, that can help you today? Uh, well, um, based on Johns Hopkins last year, we knew they were no pushover team. That was a close game, too. So we can't look at Hobart as just like another team out there. We just got to play them like it's a championship game and every other game like that from here on. Well, best of luck today and good luck trying to make that Final Four. Thank you.